I know you have been using series before on Amazon, but let's see if you have been using them correctly and let's see if there's a better way to actually utilize it and boost your sales. Now, you have been using series before, I, I know that, right? But what now consigned a Nigerian cookbook doing the, uh, in the same series with an Argentine cookbook? Not like these countries speak the same language, not like um, they're from the same continent, not like they were colonized by the same people, not like they're related in any way. But you now do a Nigerian cookbook and then you do an Argentine or Brazilian cookbook and then you put it in the same series. Hmm. We're done. Now, here are simple tips that you should use for your next cookbook. Make sure you use this tip and let me know what you feel about them when you're done in the comments of this video. Also, if this is your first time on this channel, then subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification. I do content on KDP and publishing generally. So stay tuned for my next video by hitting the subscribe button and then turning on notification so you won't miss my next video. And if you're already a subscriber, then welcome back. Today, we'll be looking at five tips for your series. Yep. Let's see how you can use series to increase your sales. Now, the first tip on my list here is to add content that are related. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question again. You now have um, a travel guide on Nigeria. Then your next travel guide is on Egypt. Then the next travel guide is on Brazil. Then the next travel guide is now on China. Then you now add all of them to one series. <laughs> okay. You see the one yourself, Abby. So now the person, now someone now buys um the Nigerian travel guide. Then they're now showing him, okay. Also in this series, you have a travel guide on China, okay. Then let's say the person buys, then they now tell the person, okay. Also on this travel guide, we have a travel guide. Sorry, also on this series, we have a travel guide on Egypt, okay. Now you can see that Nigeria is in West Africa, um China is in Asia. Um, Egypt is in Africa, but I don't think that's in, they're in West Africa. No, they are not in West Africa. So you see, you're now contradicting yourself. It's kind of very unprofessional. It's 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 good. It's quite good, and it's very possible that you can travel to these countries and then decide to write cookbooks or travel guides on these countries. But how about you use contents that are related? And that's my first step. Step number one, or let me say, tip number one is to add content that are related to a series. Now. Let me use travel guide for instance. When you're writing something like a travel guide, sometimes you post an authority, someone that um, has has been to that country. You talk about your experiences and stuff, and like that, like like that. By the way, I have uh, a video on how to write travel guide, tips on travel guide, and cookbook, and I'll drop them in the description of this video. So make sure you check them out. Back to our example, you now stand as an authority for a Nigerian travel guide. They did not write a travel guide in Nigeria, places to visit, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, and then you're done. Now, the next one is now suggesting China. Now, it's cool. It's cool. It's very possible that you have been to Nigeria, you have been to China, so you have experience about these countries and how to navigate your way around it. But how about you now do something that's related? How about you do something like an African travel guide? How about you niche it down to a West African travel guide? So now, let's assume you now write a, a series about West African countries. And then make sure when you're using this tip, you give it a name that represents what you're doing. So let's say you, you name your travel guide, um, the, My Journey on West Africa, just something like that. Just to let them know that okay, this series is about is about West Africa. Then you now cover countries like Nigeria, like Ghana, like Niger, countries that are related to that are in West Africa. Now, that's a better way of posting as an authority. The person now know that okay, this person devoted his time to tour around West Africa and this was his experience all combined in this series. So the person now get this the first book on this series about Nigeria. Um, you now enjoy your work, you now get the next one. And the person now getting an insight about how West Africa looks like generally. What's this? This. Now you see that this is a better way of using series, right? Make sure your contents are related. It's the same thing for your cookbook. Don't write a cookbook about Spanish food and then you know write a cookbook about Asian food, then I'll write a cookbook about African food and then add everything to series and it's just doesn't just sit right with me. You can do it and it works for you, but I it's very unprofessional for me and I would advise you don't do it. Now here are a few reasons why you will want to use products or contents that are related because i know you're asking why must it be related now the number one reason is that it helps you with categories if you go to if you're doing your category research or let me see it helps you with your categories now let's see if you're doing your category research you can see that you, you might see some countries like if you type french for instance then you see that okay um you might see keywords that relate to french speaking countries like france uh, then we have cameroon is also a speaking country and stuff like that now if you have your books that are related now let's say you decide to to now do a keywords or a travel guide on a travel guide on french speaking countries you see that's another niche french speaking countries now that will help you place your book in a category that has to do with cameroon and a category that has to do with france 
in a category that has to do with um, which other country speaking French. You need them, list them out. And I now want to help you explore more categories that you can put your book in. Make sure they are related by your way. I also have a video on category research and I'll drop it in the description of this video. So, but you get a point now. It helps you with categories. So instead of you to now find different categories, you now say, okay, since this travel guide is about French speaking countries or Spanish speaking countries, then this book can fall, okay, let me use Spanish speaking countries, then this book can fall conveniently in the travel guide in the category that has to do with Argentina, that has to do with Spain, that has to do with Brazil, that has to do with all those countries that speak Spanish. So doing this helps you get more categories to place your book in. Now, the number two reason why you should add content that related to your series is that you can help you with your keyword research too. Yeah. So you know that, okay, you, you now get a keyword that talks about, okay, let's say French diet. That's a keyword, French diet. And then your keyword, your book, your cookbook is about French foods. So you can see that that singular keyword provider is profitable and it's doing well, can help you rank, can help all your books in that series rank. Now, the next thing is to start, the next reason why you should use content that are related is because it helps you stand as an authority. I've said this before. You stand as a better authority as someone that has traveled West Africa. You stand as a better authority as someone that has traveled Asia. You stand as a better authority as someone that has traveled North Europe and like that. Instead of just writing here, writing here, writing here, writing here, that's kind of not giving you that authority you really need. But if you focus on one niche, if you focus on one niche, let's say you want to write a cookbook, on French foods, on French diets, that will help someone see this. Okay, this person I decided to take out time to research on cookbooks and French cookbooks and French diets and they don't combine everything in this series. So you see that it has helped you stand as a better authority. Once again, I have a video on tips about cookbooks and about um, travel guides and I'll drop it in the description of this video. Make sure you check them out. Now, the first reason you should use related content is because it's going to help you upsell easily now in your description you can also tell them in your description don't use links it's inappropriate to use links in your description but in your description you can tell them okay um this is this this series is about my tour on west africa so make sure you check my other travel guides on kenya on nigeria on ghana on niger and climb around like that like, like that now that's a way of upselling you're telling them to to do something to check them out in your description also in your book content you can also tell them let's say you you use west africa and also in your Nigerian travel guide, you can also tell them to to your experiences on in Ghana and stuff. Now that's a way of telling them that you have been to Ghana too. Then you can now include something like, okay, I have a travel guide on Ghana. So in this series, so make sure you check it out about my full West African experience. And like that, like that. That's a little way of trying to upsell your buyers. And it can also lead to increased sales. So don't write a cookbook about Nigeria, then write a cookbook about China again. Okay? Make sure your content are related. Now, tip number two for your series is to maintain a consistent branding. By consistent branding, I mean the same cover design. It mustn't be the same, but the same format. Yeah, the same. The same in fact, the same design, just a little differences. Maybe you can just include flags. This is travel guide. You can just include flags for the different countries and stuff. But make sure you have the same cover design. You use the same font. You use the same style. If you are covering things like places to visit. Um, food to eat, make sure you call places to visit and food to eat all in all the travel guides. That's if you're doing that for your travel guides. Make sure you maintain a consistent styling. Your book cover, your font, your visual style, and your editing and formatting style. Make sure it's just the same so that they will know that, okay, this person is uh, is actually doing this and cutting across. Or uh, this person is the one doing this series and giving you that authority. And if the person eventually enjoys the first one, enjoy your writing style in the first one and he will look forward to seeing how you do your writing and that will lead him to buying more or more books in your series by the way amazon recommends people if you get a book in the series amazon they also in this series you have this 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 but that decision it's a bit dependent on how you delivered in that first one so make sure you use a consistent branding style and don't use font size 12 in this one then use 14 that one you have a different cover for all your books and they're in the same series it's very 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 not too cool for me now the third the third tip you should use when you're doing series on Amazon is to use a release schedule and this one works majorly, works mostly rather if you're doing um, a fiction book. Now you drop the first book in the series and you give it some time, maybe after a week, a week or two, you don't drop the second book in that series. Now this is this kind of makes people anticipate the next book 
and you definitely want to include it in your book at towards the end okay they should stay tuned for the next part or maybe you just use something like cliffhangers or thrillers or something that will just make them want to see the next series now want to see the next book in that series now once again this is more important and this is mostly used for um fiction books but you can also try it around your non-fiction books but it works mostly for fiction books because people read the story and they want to know what happened next you know i maintain the schedule you don't drop after a week then you know wait for like one month and then drop the next one people might eventually forget it so if you are into fiction then you might want to implement this tip now the fourth tip is to use promotions and discounts now you can decide to use something like um kdp select something like a countdown deal or a countdown deal or a free promotion for your first book in that series so when people now get it the it helps you it helps you get visibility and more audience but at the same time amazon now suggests is to order so if they enjoy the first one they might go to the second one then this second one might not be free then they better okay since this guy is this good and then let me just buy the second one now the first one you can use something like a kindle countdown deal you give them a discount for the first one then you maintain a consistent pricing for the second one the third one the fourth one stuff like that now this is another way of boosting your sales the first one now is cheap so they will get it go through it and when they see that it's nice then they won't mind paying more for the other ones i also have a video on countdown deal and um, free promotion and countdown deal so i'll drop it in the description of this video so make sure you check it out and then know how to best utilize this and then add it to your series and let me know how it goes implement it for your series rather and let me know how it goes now the last tip that i have on my list here is to leverage on keywords yeah Use relevant and targeted keywords in your book title, in your description, and in your metadata so that it makes it easier for people to search for it. Now, what I mean by leveraging on keywords is that if you're using, um, let me use West Africa for, for the last time, sorry, for the last time, I want to use it again. Serious, I want to use it again. If you're using, if you're writing a series on West African countries and you have a very good keywords about West Africa, let's say, um, it on West Africa is a keyword, I'm not saying it's a keyword, but you have something like it on West Africa as a keyword now. Using that keywords automatically helps you leverage on all the books in that series because if we use that keywords in all the books, in all your books in that series, then typing it will now bring all your books. So the person might ask, okay, this is about West Africa, this one is about West Africa, West Africa, this one is about West Africa. So like that, like that, like that. So make sure you leverage on keywords, include them in your book title. Yeah, you can use it as your book title or you can use it as your series title. Then make sure you also do the same for your description, put targeted keywords in your description and in your metadata, by that I mean your subtitle and your book cover and stuff like that. So that's it about using series to boost yourself on Amazon. But wait, before that, have you subscribed to this channel yet? Of course you should. This video, I believe, has helped you. If you have any question, let me know in the comments. If you don't have any question and you like this video, feel free to share it with others so they can learn too. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you stay tuned for my next video. I have a couple of videos I'm working on, like a lot of videos I'm working on. And I'm also taking suggestions. So if you have any video you want me to work on, drop it in the comments and I'll work on it. Thank you once again and see you in my next video. Cheers.